I'm recording this just days after DrupalCon Portland 2024. And if you're into Drupal, unless you've been under a rock, you've heard about Drupal Starshot. Let me give you my thoughts. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And as I said, there's just a ton going on in the Drupal community right now. Wow, I don't remember a time when it's been this exciting. Sure, the first big announcement of DrupalCon Portland was Starshot. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. But there's a lot more going on here, like Enhanced Layout Builder, which is now going to become Enhanced Builder instead of Layout Builder. Uh, we're not going to be using Gutenberg. We're going to be using the best of paragraphs, the best of Layout Builder. So much to unwrap here. Let's start with the Starshot webpage. That's over here at drupal.org slash starshot. And this is kind of all the information about it. Definitely want to watch the announcement. You're going to open this and it's going to go to Dries's post. But the video of the keynote is here. Please do yourself a favor and start at 48 minutes in. But starting at 48 minutes, you will see the theory behind it or the reasons behind it and what it's all about. So let me hit the highlights for you from Dries's keynote. Not a revelation, but probably the biggest news coming out of this is Drupal's focus on the end user. And I got to say, I'm sorry, it's about time. For years, Drupal has been so developer centric that it's become very, very difficult to use. I've taught close to 50,000 people or have at least introduced that many people to Drupal through the years and almost to a person. Wow, this can be pretty complicated. And yes, it is. I mean, it's the most robust CMS out there. So of course, it's going to be a little complicated. But the thrust of Starshot is to attract and help new people to Drupal and getting a, a bigger customer base because of it. The next thing is, again, the top problems for ambitious site builders, improving the out-of-box experience, giving users the best practices, modules, and king configuration. Creating and styling pages should be easy. Yes, yes, yes. Making Drupal site updates easier and improving or eliminating documentation. So you get the idea. This is the thrust throughout the entire presentation that Dries is making. So what is Starshot? Well, it's Drupal CMS, which is a version of Drupal that has a whole bunch of stuff built in, content types, modules, pre-configured, probably the modules you and I install on every site we ever build, as well as a whole bunch of Layout Builder features. And it's not going to be called Layout Builder anymore. It's going to be called Experience Builder. The best of Layout Builder and the best of Paragraphs, apparently. It's not going to be a separate project necessarily. It's going to be an installation that you can get built on core, as I said, with a whole bunch of pre-configured options. This is huge. It's going to make the barrier to entry much lower for people coming into Drupal. Now, this is not a distribution. It's going to be accomplished through a new feature in Drupal called Recipes, which can be installed and uninstalled literally with the click of a few buttons. Pre-configured modules ready to go out of the box like Linkit, Scheduler, all your favorite modules, but done with recipes so they can be added and removed very easily. This is good news. As I mentioned, Layout Builder is going to become Experience Builder. And again, this is the best news for me. I have spent the last year teaching people how to build a better Layout Builder. We've got a course on it at OS Training. I do sessions on it at Drupal Camps. I've built my own starter site that has Layout Builder pre-configured and ready to go with eight or nine or 10, I don't remember now, custom block types. Well, this is going to take what I've done and just blow it out of the water and make it a thousand times better. I can't wait. Experience Builder, to me, is the missing piece in Drupal for even ambitious site builders, but specifically marketers. So this is fantastic news. Now, here's the big deal. Eight months, not eight years. The reference to eight years being the space program for the United States in the 60s. Eight months is the timeline. 
So we get this countdown over here at Drupal.org. 230 days. Aggressive? Yes. Achievable? Mm, who knows? That is the countdown to at least a minimum viable product. And of course, it'll be built on beyond that. On this page is a great FAQ. Is it a fork? No. Is it a rewrite? No. Is it a distribution? No. Pre-configured Drupal with recipes. Is it a product name? No. The initiative is called Starshot. The product is Drupal CMS. Will it replace Drupal Core? No. Will Drupal Core become much bigger? No. Who calls the shots? Huh. We haven't decided yet. Acquia has pledged a group of developers with their full-time attention to Starshot. So again, that timeline is pretty significant, especially to Dries, who said this is his highest priority. When will it be ready? How often will releases be made, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? Will it provide a SaaS offering? No, it won't. But I got to tell you, I'm planning on offering it on my own servers as an option for sure. That's pretty exciting. You can make your Starshot pledge to be help out here on this page, as well as read up more information on it. Definitely the biggest announcement coming out of DrupalCon Portland, Starshot or Drupal CMS. So my thoughts. I have a blog post on it over at OS Training. I'll put the link in the description and the link on the screen. I think it's terrific. It's something I've been doing on my own. I know Starshot will be so much better. One of the key things Dries talked about is agencies and will they get on board? He said yes, and they should. Yeah, I'm not so sure. I don't think any agency is going to use Starshot to create their enterprise sites. They're going to use Drupal Core and build that up like they always have. Hopefully, however, agencies will get on board and help Starshot get built because let's face it, the more people that come into the Drupal community and realize they can use Drupal on small to medium sites, which is what I do every day, the better it is for Drupal in the long run. Do you use Drupal on small sites or even medium-sized sites? I do, every day. I'm putting 30 websites right now into Drupal. Some of them are literally one-pagers. Some of them have as little as 10 to 20 pages. All of them are built with my personal starter site. I can't wait to use Starshot. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. Hey, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll make sure I respond. I think this is one of the biggest things in Drupal in a very long